Hey gang, it's Mike from Power BI Tips. Hey, just want to show you the June update for Power BI Desktop. Had a great new feature that I'm super thrilled about. So I wanted to just quickly jump in and do a quick tutorial. Here we go. June 2018 update from Power BI Tips. All right, so jumping in here really quick. If we go over to a table view, so I'm just in the desktop, I have a number of data tables here in the field section. So if we go over to the table view, which is just this little icon here, and click on one of the tables that I have in my data set, on this data set I have just two simple tables here. What you'll notice now is in the data view, we now have little drop-down icons. These are little tags you can have next to each column. This is really awesome. This is a functionality that I had in Excel and love this functionality. So now I can jump right into my data I can then click the tag and it automatically loads all of these field properties. And this feels very much like a pivot table or just a regular table manipulation or a filter mechanism that's inside Excel. So super thrilled about this feature. You click the arrow, you can then uh, auto detect the date types here for this one. So if I wanted to say, uh, let's say after, and we can send a date field here. Let's go zero three. 5, 2018, sure, that looks good enough for me. I'll hit OK, and it can filter my data out. Apparently, I didn't have any data there for that one. Let's clear that filter. Oh, I love this. This is such a great feature. This was so needed. Oh, here we go. The category column, jackets, jeans, pants, and shirts. So we can unselect everything. We can select two of them, and can re we can review the data. This will be super helpful if you're trying to find like a random variable or you're finding something in your reports that is just odd and out of shape and you can't figure out where it's coming from. You can come now to the data view and this adds a, a ton of more functionality. I can't tell you how many times I've gone into the query editor just to dig around and find a data point that I needed to manipulate or change or um, filter out to look at just interrogate the data. Now I have all the functionality here. Cool, excellent. Anyways, this is the June update with for Power BI Desktop, and it's highlighting the data table filtering. Thanks for watching.